Hello everybody and welcome to the playground. My name is Stinger and today we return to Medieval Dynasty. Now in the last episode we built ourselves a barn and then we decided to go see Sambor. It wasn't so easy. We had to fight off a wolf. We haven't fought one of those before. And when we finally got there, he didn't want to talk to us. I tell you what, it's a good thing we can't murder this NPC because I totally would have if I could have. However, we had to go all the way back home, and then we came all the way back the next day, and finally, we were able to advance the story there. So that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. We're going to be advancing that story, and possibly another one. I still want to make some planks so that I can take a bath. So those are the goals that I have for this episode. However, with all that said, let's go ahead and jump right back in to Medieval Dynasty. Okay, well, we start off exactly where we left off, talking with... Sambor. So now we're gonna go try to talk with our uncle Unaghost. Hopefully we won't run into another wolf. Also looks like we need some water and we need some food. Do we have any food on us? Uh, we do have some mushrooms. That's not gonna really feed us too well. It does not look like it. I think we're gonna have to go home first so that we can eat. Ooh, there's another buffalo. I think we can take it on. Let's go ahead and try. Ooh, what's this? Oh, is that a stick? All right, here's our pointy stick. We're gonna take on this buffalo and hope that we live to tail the tail, but we need the meat, so here we go, right in the head. Yep. Come on. Here we go, come on. Are we out of sticks? We are out of sticks. Okay. All right. Give me one. There we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. There we go. Get dead. Get dead. We're getting better at that for sure. Let's go ahead and skin this wizard. That'll help us out with the food department quite a bit. All right. Now, do we have all of our spears back? No, there's one over here. Let's go ahead and get that. Having multiple wooden spears is a real good thing to have. Go ahead and pick that up. I think that's all of them. Yeah. It does look like he got us pretty good. Our health is a little bit low, but here we are at home. So let's go ahead and cook up this meat. Then we'll look around for some healing plant. We'll go ahead and eat that right now, at least some of it. Just enough to get our hunger up. Okay, that's pretty good. In fact, it's going to be a new season soon, so it's not necessary that we go ahead and eat all of this, but we will cook the rest of our meat. All right, now that our meat is all cooked, let's go get ourselves some water, and then we'll be looking for some of that broadleaf plantain stuff that's so elusive to find, because we definitely need some healing. Okay, so this is the broadleaf plantain. Boy, I sure would like to... It doesn't look like it's any different from this one. And this, oh, this one is too? Okay. Wait a minute. What what disappeared on that? There was a little patch of something. It was over here. Huh, interesting. Alright, well, we got some of that. Is it this thing? It is that thing. Oh, man, that's hard to see. Okay. Let's get as much of that as we can. There's some more broadleaf plantain. Oh, we got a, a, quite a bit of it over here. Perfect. This will really help out. Especially since I just can't help myself every time I see one of them wisents or buffaloes. I just gotta have one. With all that collected, though, let's go ahead and eat some of that so we regain some of our health. We got 15 of those. That's good. Let's bring that health right back up. All right, perfect. And now we can go talk to our uncle, Unighost. New building unlocked, woodshed. That's going to be helpful. I decided to cut this tree down because I want to make some more spears just in case because we are running a little bit low. And the best way to make spears is by chopping down the tree and picking up logs. All right, now that should give us four, five, six, seven spears. Hopefully that'll be enough, just in case. Oh, it looks like we're overburdened, though. That's not good. What do we have that we need to get rid of here? 
Probably should have dropped some of this stuff off at home, but I'm gonna get rid of these sticks because we really don't need them. So let's go ahead and drop all these. And hopefully that will unburden us. Uh, was that just one stick? I think that was just one stick. No, that was all 33 sticks. Look at that, all 33 sticks. No wonder how I can fit it all in my pocket if 33 sticks equals that. What else do we have that we can get rid of that we don't need? I got 13 rocks. Let's go ahead and get rid of those as well. Yeah, I'll get rid of all 13. Hopefully that'll be enough. Yep, that seemed to do it. Let's go ahead and continue on to Unigos. Now also while we're here, we should pick up some seeds for the winter uh, growing season. Uh, let's see. Would you have to have? Would you happen to have any seeds? Show me your wares, please. What do you have? Yes, you do. You have carrot seeds. Let's see. This can be planted in the spring. Don't want that. How about onion seeds? Spring. Okay, and can be sown in the autumn. We're in the autumn right now. Straw and summer. So it doesn't look like there's anything that we can do in the winter. Doesn't seem like. All right. Well, let's go talk to Unighost. Was that Unighost? Yeah. Hello, Unighost. How are you doing? Can we talk? Come back. Come talk to me. There we go. So what did Sambor say? Well, he's a loner lurking in the woods, but he knows the game around here and believes that both Gristava and Denica will have to face wolf attacks soon. I was afraid it would be something like that. Well, here's your first reward, courtesy of the last tax collection Sambor actually complied with. <laughs> Well, that's good. Did we get some money? I will take care of the defenses here in Gustava. But hey, I need you to make sure that Denica is prepared too. Go there and convince Dogbert to build a palace stades. They will be ready for anything. I will give you my word. All right, great. We updated Unigos's story. That's a good thing. Where is he at? Uh, let's see. Denica is way over here. We might have to do that next season. That is pretty far away. Oh, we could cut right through the middle. We might have to face some challenges, though, for sure. Might just do it. I mean, we got a whole bunch of spears. Maybe we can. And I even have some meat if we get hungry along the way. Well, we're looking pretty good on water. So, yeah, let's do this. We'll get out our spear. And uh, let's go straight to Denica. Well, it looks like we're coming up to Denica here. It is quite late in the day, unfortunately, though. So he might not want to talk to us. If not, I'm not going to go home. We'll just have to set up camp around here and uh, camp out until winter, pretty much, which is tomorrow. All right. Where is da Dagobert? Dagobert. Here, Dagobert. Uh, can I get through the glitchy door? Hello, Dagobert. How are you doing? Ooh, that's a little bit too close. Hey, stranger, what are you doing on my land? I am no stranger anymore. I am Rasimir, nephew of Lorden, and I moved to this valley some time ago, or I'm a messenger from Unighost. Oh, well, you know what? Let's do I am no stranger anymore. Well, if you really Lorden's nephew, you can't be too bad after all. Is there any proof for that? Proof? A proof? Well, my mother told me he had a scar on his left cheek. I hope it's his face cheek and an awkward way to get on and off a horse's back. Ooh, <laughs> how awkward is that? Something with a childhood injury? All right. Good enough for me. So what do you want? Well, I was sent here to alert you that wolves are gathering southeast of your home. And it's only a matter of time before they get curious or hungry. You should build some palisades and arm your family. Well, there hasn't been a wolf attack for many years. Too many people live here now and the wolves are retreating into the mountains. It's very unlikely they would come here, but not impossible. Sambar says he has seen a large pack coming closer and closer, or can you be entirely sure about that? You have your wife and your daughters here. Aren't you afraid they could get attacked? Ooh, we could go with fear or reasoning. I think I might go with reasoning because Sambor, he's the one that should know this kind of stuff and hopefully Dagobert would understand that he would know that. So we'll go with that. It says, all right, I will take it more seriously, but I am out of logs. If you can get me 40 logs, I will build the Palestine myself. 40 logs? That's a lot of logs. 
Yeah, that's a lot of work, Dagobert. And my wife will indulge you with the best our kitchen has to offer. Free food? Okay, that might be... Yeah. You have my axe. <laughs> yes. Give me that free food. I love that free food. Sweet. Do you have anything else for me? Yeah, can you show me your wares? I would love to see them. You have animal feed, beetroot seed. Okay, when is that planted? Planted in the spring. Ooh, cabbage seed. I think that was the one that we were looking for. Let's go ahead and buy some of this. We, how much money do we have? We have 67 and it costs 16 each. Ooh, that's, that's quite a bit. That's quite high price. But I think we need to buy some of this. Uh, how much can we buy? We can buy four. We can only buy four. Okay, well, can we sell anything? Do we have anything we do not need? How about these mushrooms? We could sell you those. We could sell you these mushrooms as well. We do not need them. Let's sell all of those. We do have some roasted meat. And I have plenty of meat. If we're going to... Ooh, we have a lot of leather too. And fur. Got plenty of straw. I can get straw real easy near my house. Let's go ahead and sell them all the straw. We need as much money as we possibly can get. I have a couple feathers, but I want to keep my hands on that one. Let's go ahead and buy another cabbage seed. That's going to at least get us five of those. He also has fertilizer. Uh, beetroot? I don't think I've seen beetroot over at the other place either. So I would like to buy five of that as well. That also is 16 pieces of gold each. So we'd have to sell more stuff in order to do that. We have fur boots. Fur boots. Where did we get fur boots? A leather boots with fur can be crafted in sewing or bought. We must have got those for completing a task or something. It is becoming winter. Maybe we get rid of Rassimer's shoes. Doesn't really have much for cold protection. Plus 10 and then plus 5 for heat. What do the boots give us? The beats give us minus 10 for the heat. So in the summer, those are going to be too hot. But in the winter, they're perfect. Oh, I probably shouldn't get rid of my shoes, though, should I? You know what? I think we're going to have to leave the beetroot seed for right now. We'll have to come back to that. I'll need to get some more gold. But we'll remember that Dogabert has beetroot seed. That'll be really good. Okay, I will go now. Thank you. Goodbye. And with that, it is the night time, so I think we're going to have to build like a campfire and go to sleep. And my hunger is really bad, so before I do go to sleep, I'll just eat a couple mushrooms, possibly. Do I have mushrooms? I do not have mushrooms. All right, I'll eat one piece of meat. Do I have one piece of meat? Yes, I do. Let's, let's go ahead and eat one piece of meat. That'll get it up just enough to where we can go to sleep. Where can we camp at? Let's try over here. And I think it's under other. Yeah, campfire. And we need sticks. We do not have enough sticks. We need 16 sticks. All right, well, we'll pick up some sticks and we'll make a campfire. All right, it looks like we have enough sticks. Let's go ahead and make our campfire. And we'll go to sleep. Oh, okay. Did we wake up in our own house? Oh my goodness, it has snowed and it is wonderful. Oh wow, that is really pretty. Oh, and look at our garden. Oh, that is awesome. I really like that. That is really nice. We're going to have food soon. Unfor oh, we need to warm up? Really? That's not good. Do we? Can we light this? Alright, I don't know where our cold meter is at. But uh, apparently we were cold right there. We need to warm ourselves up. Oh, what's this? Temperature. If the temperature is too high or too low, it'll make you lose life parameters. You need to wear weather-appropriate clothes if you want to avoid it. You can also take shelter in your home or at the campfire if you're too cold. Holding out a torch also increases your temperature. Well, that's good to know because I have a feeling since we don't have a lot of money and we don't have a lot of clothes that we're going to have a lot of issues. All right, what do we have in our chest here? I don't think we really have much. Can we put anything away? I'd like to keep the broadleaf just in case. The St. John's wort reduces poisoning. We don't need to keep the cabbage seed, so let's transfer all that. We do have fur and we do have leather, but unfortunately we don't have the resources to sew that together to make clothes right now. So I am going to transfer all that as well. Just drop that off. Let's go ahead and put on our fur boots. Can we equip that somehow? Uh, I know we can get rid of our regular shoes, right? We can just put... Oh, yeah. Right here is equipped. So 
Let's transfer those over, and then can we equip our boots? We might have to do that in our inventory here. Let's go ahead and see about equipping those. Yes, F will equip our fur boots. That should give us a little bit of cold temperature help. Uh, let's see. If we go outside, how cold is it? I think we're going to be okay. To be honest, I think we're going to be fine. Okay, now, can we build anything out here? Uh, let's see. Can't build anything there. And I want to build a workshop. A work... Oh, look, we got a rabbit. A worker building for crafting wooden and rock tools. Yeah, I think we need more people, unfortunately. There's our cold meter. Let's go ahead and grab this rabbit. Okay, good. So we'll have a little extra meat just in case we need it. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else that we can really do until we get more people. And I have to get planks somehow. I might have to buy planks. That might be bad. All right, well, we're going to head on back to Denica and get some logs from over there because I really don't want to haul them all that way. It is a pretty long walk, to be honest. In the meantime, we're going to need to sell some things because I need to get some warm clothes. Okay, well, we're getting close, and there is a boar right there, so we better be careful, you know, by throwing sticks at it. There we go. Haha, <laughs> you weren't so hard, boar. Not so bad at all. Yeah, we took a little bit of damage, but it wasn't too bad. And now we have some fresh meat, just in case our old meat has gone off a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and retrieve all of the spears, though. Is there any around here? Did I hit them every single time? That's amazing. All right, good. Works for me. Oh, no. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh my goodness, you look like a porcupine, not a boar. Okay, well, we uh, only wanted to hunt one boar, but it looks like when you hunt one boar, you get another boar. A lot of boar around here. Oh, all right, any other boar want to attack me? It doesn't look like it. Okay, well, I was only intending to hunt the one boar, but apparently somebody had to stick their nose in my business. And now we have double the meat. All right, well, let's get out our axe and start chopping some wood. Forget how many logs he said, but I know it was quite a few. This is gonna take us a little bit to do it. Ooh, are those planks? I could really use some of those. You out in the field? Where do I deliver this wood? Yeah, I have some of your logs. Great. Thank you, I will wait for the rest. Okay, it won't take long, I promise. Yeah, because I'm gonna cut everything down around your house. Where do I put the logs? That would be great. Yeah, show me your wares. Okay, well, can we just sell you some sticks that we picked up along the way? That'd be nice. Yeah, I have 27 of those. We can sell all of those sticks. And that'll get us a little bit of gold. Anything else that we can sell, I can sell that for sure. The mushroom, don't need. All right. Uh, it would be nice to know where to put the logs, though. Or am I just giving it to you directly? I might be. Okay. Well, if that's the case, let's get out our axe and just chop these trees down right here. I guess I, I'm chopping that tree down. <laughs> I thought I was chopping that one. All right. I have some more of your logs. Thank you, I will wait for the rest. Yeah, apparently we're just giving it to him. We've delivered 14 out of 40 logs, so cue the montage. Let's get the rest of these. How did I die? 
All right, well, I made my way back to Denica. I had to start the day all over again, so that means all those logs that I gathered are gone. That is very unfortunate. What the heck are you guys doing? Oh my good, that oh, that is some type of yoga that I have not seen before. I can't say that it's appropriate to be watching. However, I can't get my eyes off of this. This is amazing. I have no idea. <laughs> What are you doing? But well, can we talk to you? Oh, oh, that was creepy. Uh, show me your wares. I would like to sell you some things I don't need in my inventory. I can't believe what we just walked in on, though. That's amazing. Uh, okay then. I'll go now. Goodbye. I still need to deliver logs to you, right? I can't help it. I gotta see it one more time. Are you still doing it? You sure are. What about your wife? Oh, that's weird. Uh. Yeah, Oda, how are you doing? Do you have a minute? Sorry, my mom told me not to talk to... Oh, that's your child. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, can I talk to you, Dagbort? Can you move out of the way? I just can't leave with you guys hanging around like that. Can you move a little bit? No, I guess... I guess you guys are gonna be up there, aren't you? Can you move a little bit? No, okay. All right, well, yeah, I'll leave that to you. And let's go out and get more wood... And we have to start that all over again. Can I just steal this wood? That would be nice. <laughs> Let's get on to this again. <laughs> Guy's still hanging around, huh? Okay, well, can I give you some of the logs that I just got? Yeah, I'll get you the rest, I promise. So there's six logs out of 40. All right, well, I, I would love to hang out, but unfortunately, I got a whole bunch of logs to cut down. Ah! Get off of me, dude! Get off of me! Oh my goodness, why did you attack me? That was not very nice. Now I'm hurt. Can't help but see that there is a pig over here. I punched you to death. Yeah, take that. All right, still hanging out, I see. All right. I have some more of your logs. Can you take them? And then let's sell you some more stuff. Sell you more stick. You're going to have so many sticks, you're not even going to be able to shake one at them. And what else can we sell you? Nothing, I don't think. Now, why is it that I can't equip my torch? No torch in slot. Oh, I have a torch. I would love to put it in a slot. Right here. Can we then equip it? There we go. We've equipped it. Can we put it in a slot? No, we cannot. Let's unequip that. Yeah, can we put... I can't assign that to a slot for my life. We need more broadleaf plantain, unfortunately. That's the last of our broadleaf plantain. So we're gonna have to be very careful while cutting down these trees because apparently I do not have a torch in my slot even though it says that I can bring it out with F and I'm not able to put it in the slot with the numbers so I have no idea what the heck is going on there but we're gonna have to be quite careful so oh there we go I just had to equip it apparently all right, well, we just need four more logs. That should be easy enough. I'm going to dig them up because I'd rather not waste my axe on them. There's uh, one right here. And two. Uh, and two. Thank you. And three. And where's another one? Oh, here we go. And four. Great, that should be all the logs that Dagobert needs. Maybe now he'll be weighed down enough to where he can come off the ceiling. Okay, can here's the rest of your logs. Oh, I bet, and you shall not regret that. Talk to Matilda. I smelled something in the air. I hope it is what I'm thinking. My stomach is empty. My hands are hurting. Okay, great. Quest updated. Now we have to talk to Matilda. So let's go ahead and do that. Is she in the same town? That would be really convenient. Is this Matilda? It is. Hello, Matilda. 
You must be really starved after all that hard work. Here's a hearty pottage. Pottage? Okay, sure, I'll take that. And some soup. That smells delicious. Can I have the recipe? I sure would like it. Well, it's a family secret. Arr. Shame on you. Nevertheless, thank you for the meal. Shame on you. Shame on you for having a family secret? That's a little bit forward of me, don't you think? Let me see if she has anything to buy, though. Because I could use to buy some things, although my money isn't looking that great. She does have a simple bag. I can make that. A hood will give me a little bit of cold protection, but not a lot. A tunic, 15. Okay. We have flax used for crafting. Flax grain and flax stock for linen thread. Okay. Linen fabric, linen thread, wool fabric. Wow, she's got a lot of cool stuff, but really nothing I can do with. Here's the pottage. Or maybe it's porridge. It's, ooh, it's got a nutrition of 30. That's not bad. I also have some soup that is 35 nutrition. Wow, that's going to be really helpful. Hopefully that won't spoil too fast since it's winter. I will go now, though. I sure would like to have a spinning wheel. Can I have the spinning wheel? Can I have this? I sure could use a lot of that kind of stuff. All right, so what's the next thing we need to do? We need to talk to Unighost again. So let's go ahead and make our way over there. Hello, Zadimir. Do you have a minute? Just want to talk to you. How you been lately? Been doing good? Your approval went up by 10. That's great. Cool. I'll go now. Bye. Hey. Kunanda? Kunanga? Kunanda. Hey, Kunanda. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. <laughs> I don't know you well enough first. Okay, well, I'm creating a new settlement, and I'm looking for good people willing to join. I heard you are building your reputation up. Keep it going, and I might consider your proposition. Reputation required 50. Oh yeah, I forgot. We do have a reputation, don't we? Newcomers, residents of your village. To encourage people into joining your village, you need to reach the right amount of dynasty reputation points. You can try to convince them by building houses for them and talking to free people in the area who might like to join your growing settlement. People are much needed to help collect resources faster Look after animals, cultivate fields, and develop technology and improve everyone's quality of life. Well, I would really like to have more buildings, to be honest. All right, now I'm a little bit cold, so let's go ahead and bring out the torch. Ooh, yeah, I'm really cold. Let's go head off to Unighost and talk to him. Okay, well, we got here. It's a little bit late at night. Fortunately, I was able to find some drink and I already had food. We were really hungry and I didn't realize I almost died again from starvation. Uh, let's also bring out our torch because we wouldn't want it. There's a lot of things that'll kill you in this game and make you start over. Uh, where's Unighost? Unighost, where did you go? Oh, is this you here? Unighost, hey, there you are. How'd it go, Indenica? Well, they are prepared and safe now. A simple wooden palestide, I assume. Yes, I think Dalgabert is a man who is not afraid of wolves and not afraid of flying around his room on the ceiling, as we found out. So that's done. Great. Next, we have to wait for further events. Oh, okay. Well, that was anticlimactic. Uh, what? You have a piece of paper now. Can I talk to you about that? Show me your wares. Well, do you have anything? Not really. Okay. Uh, do you have a minute? How you been? How's the job? Hope you're doing all right. I enjoy what I'm doing. You seem reasonable. Maybe you can help me sometime. Eh, you know what? I've got a lot on my plate right now. So we probably should make camp somewhere and uh, come back in the morning. I cannot take another boar attack or any other wild animal. All right, bright and early the next day. Finally, we were able to sleep. How are we doing on water? You know what? We're right here. We might as well. Let's go ahead and get ourselves something to drink. Oh, boy, I could really use some broadleaf plantain right about now. Do you guys have any of that around here? It would be really, really helpful. Uh, that's not broadleaf plantain. You know what else would be helpful? If my eagle vision would actually show me broadleaf plantain. Well, at least it didn't start us back in our own cabin, so that's going to be helpful. Maybe we can talk to Unighost, although it still says wait for further instructions, so I guess that we can't. We might have to go home. However, I don't really want to go home right now. I think we need to get some more people on board in our settlement, so I think I want to spend the rest of today in the village here trying to convince people to join our little settlement. 
Hey, how are you, Bills Boar? Uh, do you have a minute? I just got back working in the field. Tough job. Yeah, approval went up by five. Great. Hey, do you have a minute? What a day. I've been working almost nonstop, but I know my hard work will pay off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Early bird gets a worm. I'm not sure if that's true. Otherwise, I'd probably be a noble by now. Ooh, that made him go down a little bit. Now I guess you're done talking to me. How about you, Imrika? Hey, do you have a minute? Sorry, my mom told me not to talk to strangers. Well, la di da. Let's see. How do we find out what our reputation is? Dynasty reputation is 30. That is not good. We need it to be up by at least 20 more points. How do we do that? I would have thought it would be by doing these stories. So let's see, what other stories do we have? We have side quest, chapters, good morning my neighbors. So complete some quest for neighbors, two out of three, and we need to successfully flirt. So let's focus on that. We're gonna do another task for a neighbor. Maybe if we can figure out somebody who needs a task to be done. Do you need a task? No, you do not. Let's see, do you have a quest? No, you don't. Uh, do you have a minute? I just got back working in the field. It's hard work. Hey, went up by five. Hey, do you have a minute? Uh, nice weather we're having, isn't it? No, no no approval. Neither way. Okay, well, what about you, sir? Do you need anything done, Alvin? Not you. <laughs> I know. I know you want to talk to me, but I need to talk to Alwyn here, please. Hi, my name is Rasimir. Ooh. Hi, I'm Alvin. I don't recognize you. Are you new here? I came here from the south. I'm looking for a new place for myself where I can start a new life. Well, good luck. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Every day I cultivate the fields. In fact, I do the same thing every day, year to year. Doesn't it bore you? If I were you, I would die of boredom. Well, of course it bores me. How long can you do the same thing in life over and over again? But the family needs my help and I'm doing my best. Well, you know what? That's that's commendable. Did I offend you? Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. On top of that, my handle of my dang scythe broke. Now it takes even longer to harvest crops. Ooh, I think I know how to help you with this. I'll be back soon. I, you need a scythe handle. Great. Can we do that? Uh, Alwyn story one. Okay, complete side quest. How do we how do we make a scythe handle? Do we do we just craft a scythe hand? I need a I need to bring out my torch because I'm gonna die from the cold. Oh boy. Okay, so how do we craft a scythe handle? Uh skinny knife. Can we just build a scythe? Is that a thing that we can do? Can we buy a scythe? At this point, I might just buy a scythe. Alright, well, you know what? I'm gonna boy, these are nice plant oh no. Apparently my torch has gone out. I'm gonna have to build another one. I'm gonna have to build it soon too. So let's see, how can we build another one? We need a stick and 10 straw, and I don't have 10 straw right now. Oh boy, that's not good. I'm gonna have to go inside, see if anybody has any for sale, cause there is no way I'm gonna be able to make it home without a torch. Sorry, I gotta bust into your house. I'm about to die. Can I talk to you from over here? Show me your wares. Please tell me you got some straw. You do. I need at least 10 of that. Okay, there's 10. Great. Now, yeah, I know. Can we get out of here and go back inside? Now, can we craft and craft that torch? Yes, we can. Great. Looks like I'm gonna head on home. See if I can't find any broadleaf plantain on the way. Oh my goodness, we are so close to dying. If a rabbit just walks past us really fast, we might just die. Well, we made it back home, but I think that the broadleaf plantain must not grow in winter or something because I have not been able to find any around here. And uh, I don't really know how else to bring up my HP without it. That is not good. But fortunately, we were able to find a lot of wreaths, so we can make torches now, which is a good thing. Let's see if we can't make this guy's handle. Uh, wooden tools. He needs a scythe. Uh, let's see, torch, cudgel. What's a cudgel? Oh, okay, shovel, wooden spear. No, that's not it. What about stone tools? Stone hoe, skinny knife, pike, throwing rock. 
axe. Yeah, I don't see anything with a scythe. I don't know what we're going to do in order to get one. We might have to buy one. Let's go ahead and make ourselves one of these throwing rocks. Just for the funsies of it. We get five throwing rocks out of one rock. That's interesting. All right, well, let's make sure we have our torch equipped. Let's go inside. Maybe, just maybe, we have some broadleaf plantains in our chest here. Uh, we have one. <laughs> So we will go ahead and use that right away. And at least now we're at 13 health instead of 3, so that's a little bit better. What else do we have in here? Anything else that we can use? Anything else that we want? We do have 84 sticks. That's not bad. We could start selling those. We have a lot of sticks. And then we have 8 sticks in our inventory here. You know what? I kind of want to just go ahead and make quite a few of these torches since we're here. Let's do that. Uh, we'll make... How many can we make? We can make five. Let's make five torches. We are hungry. We are overburdened. Why are we overburdened? Because we've made too many... Ooh, we have a fur hood. Can we equip that? Is that not equipped? There's... I had a fur hood and I haven't had that equipped? Let's do that. Oh, wow. Well, maybe now we can go out here and not die from the cold. That would be nice. However, we still are overburdened, so let's drop a few things off in the chest here. What can we get rid of? Oh, let's see. I could eat the portage, or the portage. Let's do that. Uh, we have two logs. Let's go ahead and make those logs into pointy sticks. Yes, we'll do that. Why did I bring out my torch right there? I do not know. Okay, so the fur hood is equipped now. Looks like we are right there in the middle for temperature-wise. I don't know exactly what that means. I guess the lower over here, the better? Uh, what else do we have that we can get rid of? We do not need the cabbage seed. Let's go ahead and drop that off. I don't think we need the feathers right now because we can't craft any arrows. I'm going to get rid of all this leather for right now because we don't need that. The sticks, uh, I'll keep those just in case. The straw... I guess I'll keep those. We'll eat the portage, or the porridge, whichever that is. Let's go ahead and do that right now. There we go. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and eat some of this roasted meat that we have to get our food up to halfway. And let's go get ourselves some water. I mean, I could make a stone hoe, but didn't he say he needed a scythe? What do we need for a stone hoe? We need ten sticks and four rocks. Okay, well, I know we have enough sticks already in the house. Let's go see if we have any rocks as well. Uh, what do we got in here? We'll get 10 sticks. Actually, we'll get 20 sticks. And do we have any rocks in here? I don't think we do. We need to go collect a few rocks, apparently. Okay, let's see if we can't make this stone hoe. Why I need to have my torch out, I do not understand that while I'm crafting, but okay. But it does look like having that hood on has made it so that we are not being cold enough to die. So that's nice. We don't have to have the torch all the time. Let's go ahead and drop some of the extra resources off in here. Because apparently this would be a great place to store some sticks and some stones. Okay, now I don't think we need the fur on us either. Because we cannot craft anything with it. And it doesn't sell for that much either. So let's go ahead and drop off this fur here. And what else could we drop off? We don't. I don't think we need the straw anymore. Since we are now good enough to uh, not need the fire. And then we have five throwing rocks. <laughs> oh, We're going to have to try those out for sure. Alright, now that we have that though. Let's go back to Unigos' area. See if he will take this handle or this hoe as payment instead of a scythe. Now it could be that he needs to have the hoe or it could be that he needs a log or a certain amount of sticks. So we're gonna have to be aware of that. However, since we're not able to make a scythe, I would imagine that we don't need an actual scythe to give him. And would he be out here in the field already? I think that's him right there. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Hello, Alwyn. How are you doing? How you... Do you have a minute? Uh, how's the job? I hope you're doing all right. It's hard and dirty. I wish I could work in some cozy place like sewing. 
Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I'll go now. Bye. How how do I get you the stuff that you need? Can I give you the hoe? Talk. Okay. How do I complete this? All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to go now for right now. I'm going to go get a log and I'm going to be right back. Hopefully that will do the trick. All right. Now that we're overburdened, let's see if he'll take a log as a stick for a handle for a scythe. Please tell me that you will do this for me, Alwyn. Hey, here it is. Here, use this as your new handle. Give him a stick. Are you joking? How am I supposed to use it? Okay. All right, you surprised me. Are you some kind of craftsman? How did you know how to do that? Well, I know how to create some simple things. We're learning something new every day, right? Maybe. I'm a farmer like my father. I don't know much else. <laughs> you know when something will be handy in your life. Anyway, thanks for your help. I should get back to work. Sure, the rye won't cut itself. See you later, bruh. Yes, bye. In dialogue. Okay, great. Now, we're still overburdened, but that's okay. Uh, maybe we can craft some more pointy sticks. I always like doing that. For some reason, though, we have to have our torch out every time we craft anything. I don't know if that's going to lessen our load, but I would imagine a pointy stick is a lot less heavy than a log. We're whittling it away. It looks like we're still a little overburdened, but we can probably drop off a couple things. What could we drop off? We could drop off these sticks. Do not need them. Let's get rid of those. We'll drop all eight of them. Or six. Math. Hard. We are still technically overburdened. I probably shouldn't have brought the St. John's wort. Maybe I could sell it in town here. All right. Hello. Can you show me your wares? I would like to sell you some stuff that I don't need. How about some St. John's wort? We got five of those we don't need. You also have some good stews and, and things to eat, but they're pretty expensive. I mean, I got some gold, but that's pretty expensive. Anything else that I have, because uh, I'm still technically overburdened, I could sell the torches for two apiece. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Let's sell all the torches, because I don't think, you know what, we'll sell all but one, just in case. And anything else that we can sell. I mean, I do have a few throwing rocks. It looks like I only have one throw. Oh, I have one equipped, and then I have some extras, I thought, because I'm pretty sure I have five throwing rocks. Or I did. I probably dropped them. Oh, that's probably what I did. That's unfortunate. I do have ten meats, which is quite a bit. But, boy, that would be good for giving myself some sustenance. Uh, we have 86 gold right now. I think we're gonna go. Hey, do you have a minute? How's the job? Hope everything's going well. Hey, look at that. Her approval went up a little bit, I think. Creating is my passion. I love my job. Others should take example of me. Well, you're a little full of yourself, aren't you? Anyway, I'm gonna go now. Thank you for the conversation. I do appreciate it. And I'm no longer overburdened. That's great. Do you have something? You sure do. All right, what do you have? You just have the seeds. Okay, well, I don't really... Well, you know what? Maybe we get some more seed? Might be a good idea. I know we just got carrot seed. We got five of those. There's onion seed. That's only 10 gold. I might want to pick some of that up. Let's go ahead and buy some of that. We'll buy five lots of that. Okay, that'll free up some gold. And let's go ahead and leave. All right, well, we're going to head our way on home, get ourselves a bite to eat, and then probably call it a night. It's getting pretty late. All right, well, we made it home. Everything's looking pretty good here. Let's go ahead and go inside and light a light, because I cannot see nothing. Uh, no, I don't want to cook. I want to light, light, light. There we go. Perfect. Now, let's go ahead and cook some of this meat that we got. And we will cook all of it. Let's cook 10 bits. Great. Okay, now that that's done, let's go ahead and get some of that to eat right away. Uh, you know what? We'll bring our hunger all... Well, we won't bring it all the way up. And also, before I forget, let's drop some things off that we do not need. We do not need the onion, so we will put all of that in storage. What else do we not need? Do we need all these spears? We have ten spears. And then we have this one by itself. We probably don't need ten spears. And we don't need the throwing rock. 
so that's pretty good we're still really close to being overburdened already that is very unfortunate it's probably all these wooden spears you know what i'm gonna drop off another five of these that should yeah that did pretty good in fact i'm gonna drop off one more just to give us a little extra room great all right though with all that let's go to sleep and wake up in the morning all right, it is the start of a brand new day, but the end of this episode, oh man, we did not accomplish everything we wanted. We died again, and also, I noticed that we still only have two out of three complete some quests for neighbors completed. We haven't successfully flirted yet either. So those are the things that we're going to attempt to do in the next episode of Medieval Dynasty. However, if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like as it really does help out the channel. And subscribe and ring the bell if you want to know exactly when we come back to Medieval Dynasty. However, once again, my name is Stinger. This is The Playground. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, let's kill you. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Oh, no. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go!